Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mega Modded Gungeon. We're jumping in once again. Should play as Paradox this time around. Get some random items going. See if we can get some extras here. See what we end up getting. I still like the fact that you push that little chair out of the way when you hit it. Do, do you know what? Apache. Can you make this not give you rat keys? <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I never... Oh my god. Goodness. Uh, I never want a rat key from one of those things. Also, I'm confused. What's the... We, we got the shadow ring just now from the... Uh, what the fuck? Right. We got the shadow ring just now from the machine. So what, what the hell was that other passive? Confused. Also, I didn't actually read what the um, shadow ring actually does. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Probably do that. L let's find out. Let's find out. But yeah, this Mega Ball thing. I'm imagining it's going to be a boss killer, honestly. I don't know for sure. We are a Robberos 4 now, which gives us the magic lamp for some reason. Okay, there you go. Okay, we got the Crimson Crown. Sets your HP to half a heart upon entering a new floor. Enemies are a random chance. Ooh. Spicy. And then the, uh, the good old Mega Ball. Magnificent example of bombard uh, weaponry built to slay giants. Normally impossible for a single person to wield. Reduced gravity somewhat allows this ridiculous feat. S tier. It has an amount of ammo, but we'll never know. Okay, it has 10. <laughs> okay, so we got we got some good boss killers here. Um, we, we do get set to half a heart at the start of every floor, but enemies have a random chance to be insta-killed. Um, I think, by the looks of it, if we have armor, our um, heart is reasonably safe here. So, pretty useful. Either way, going to be a kind of scary run. Going to be a kind of scary run. Uh, I'm, I'm not putting the crown down, though. The crown, I have to keep it on now. I have to. I'm really interested to see if this Mega Ball like, breaks DPS cap or anything. But there you go, there's an insta-kill there. I don't know what the chances are for an insta kill. I'm gonna guess it's around 25%. Just to not be super ridiculous, but still be useful. Although, based on the evidence thus far, it doesn't seem like that. Is that what it, is that actually what it said? Was it just a random chance? Um, enemies have a random chance to start at near death themselves. Okay. So that is pretty much what it says. I'd expect it to be around a 25% chance. But like I said, I don't actually know. But so far, we've not gotten very lucky. That's our second enemy that's insta-died. This guy's got the, 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 whole, the whole double thing going on. Okay, there's another one. Okay, it's happening reasonably often enough that I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy about it. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm having to use my pistol at the minute because my magic lamp and my mega ball are both kind of boss killers. I suppose I could use the magic lamp on certain enemies, uh, like those guys. In fact, I should probably get it ready for such an occasion, um, if that were to happen, if that were to sort of become available to me. I've never really used the magic lamp against enemies other than bosses, I'll be honest. It's one of those guns that just it fits bosses too well. It's pretty slow firing and... Yeah, but I mean, it's gonna it's gonna kill them quick, no doubt about that. It's just like how worthwhile it is is the question. Right, be careful around you. Brown chest here. I'm honestly willing to let you go. I'd like to shoot you before you blow yourself up. There you go. Get junkin. Oh, I'm willing to let that go because we've got a blue chest around. Um, on the floor somewhere. Oh lord. Slightly weird room there. That kind of wicked me out a little bit, I'll be honest. It's a raccoon. Okay, here's where we get Junkin. Damn it! We have three Junkin, no Junkin, how dare you? It's only a 1% chance for it to spawn. Should have it by now. But yeah, enemies like this, probably a good idea to just schwack them with the, uh, with a good old big fist boy. Give him the fist. Okay. Shop, I'm still looking for you. Where, where are you? Where art thou? Here we go. 
But yeah, we're going to be getting a lot more champions. Again, I don't exactly know what the Ouroboros levels do. Um, like, in... Like, obviously, there's these these new types of enemies and champions and stuff. I don't know if it raises enemies' health, increased jam chance, anything other than the champions. I'm not sure. We got safety scissors here, which I don't remember what they do, but I am just going to buy the key. The sling is good, but again, we already have boss killers. I don't feel like the sling is very necessary for us. I'll open that up and we get ourselves. Ugh. He's trash. <laughs> Essentially. I'll open this up as well. And another piece of trash. <laughs> okay, not great, not great. Right, I'm gonna guess this is a charge weapon. It lowers my movement speed by, by quite some quite some large amount. Okay, no, it takes fucking forever to charge. I mean I kind of get why, but also Okay, there you go. Okay, I was just about to say excuse me, but it does it does bounce around the room. It's honestly not great though. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's it's still bouncing, it's still bouncing. Also, my shadow ring I think creates a shadow clone when I get hit. It seems decent. It seems decent. I have to admit. I expected it to be better, but it's pretty cool. We also got some wide bullets. Isn't flat bullets just a flat damage increase? Increased damage, yeah. Plus two flat damage. Ooh, wait. Plus two flat damage. That could be really crazy, right? I guess we take the ammo for this. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of that thing, you know. Probably not a lot. Probably not a lot. Yeah, so if I if I drop my flat bullets now, it doesn't change my damage value at all. Because it, it, yeah, as it said, it adds two flat damage. Um, yeah, that's pretty fucking crazy with like a fast firing gun like the club or something. That could be nutty. Really, really good. Really, really good. Very happy to have it indeed. And let's just, yeah, let's see if we can get anything else good going on this run. Of course, no oubliette or anything this time around. Pretty much fine. Um, I think with the stuff that we've got going on, we should be good to go regardless. Good, good, good to go. Good, good, good to go. But yeah, I don't know, maybe I should be using my big cannon in rooms more, but then I get its charge up. Makes that, like, not very appetizing. Okay, I do get to keep my armor, which is very, very good. No. Nice. Oh, You absolute bastard. What was that that hit me? Did I shoot a barrel or something? I'm not quite sure. But anyways, now I am actually one hit off death. So... Can we have more enemies die instantly, please? Especially more enemies that have high HP. That doesn't seem to be happening all so often for us, and it's a little bit upsetting. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. That's a double trouble. That helps. <laughs> the shield, kind of useful for that reason. Should probably buy the half a heart just for safety. Fucking let me buy it, you dickhead. We need a room clearer, like real bad, because right now we just do not have one. This thing's doing fine, but I'd like to use something else, please. Very much so. Knock those guys in the puddles. Not really puddles when they're full of spikes, but there you go. Good. I will take an extra blank if I can get it without getting hit. Not falling in a pit. Yeah, just... Maybe I've got to, like, go into the boss room with it already charged for it to sort of be useful. 
For room clearing especially, I just... It's too long of a charge to be good. There's some insta-kills there for us. Nice. That's jamming himself. It's alright though. They give us more money, so I don't mind them, really. Let's overdo it with this guy. <clears throat> Very much overdoing it. It's always sad when you see that first bullet hit and it doesn't insta-kill them. Yeah. You're shooting off quite a lot of shots. And you shoot one on death now. Okay. I will just open this up and we get whatever the hell this is. Energy plated shield. I've had this before but I do not remember what it does. Four plates of protective shields, originally banned by the uh, Guneva Convention for its use of torture methods, it was disguised as a defensive item while being smuggled around the hegemony. In a hilarious twist, it uh, proves to function better as a defensive shield than a torture device. Creates four stationary orbit, uh, orbitals at cardinal directions. Upon taking enough damage, will disable itself for a few seconds. Okay, so I think they're just there to block bullets for us, which is reasonably good. They don't seem that big. But I, I suppose they're still going to be good for the blocking stuff anyways. Yeah, there you go. Look. I like it. I like it. Pretty useful. Pretty basic item. But, but there needs to be basic items so that the complex items shine even more. A black chest, to be fair. Fucking knew it. Do you know, I was like, the game would never, the game would never give me a black chest just off the cuff. Can you, like, stop firing down the hallway so I can get one of these in there? Hopefully just watch you slowly die. I was like, there's no way on a little island like that the game would give me a black chest. This is going to be an absolute fucking nightmare to kill, you know. Like, I can't accurately shoot it and apparently that big ball just did fucking nothing. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. Okay, we finally got it. We finally got it. That ball is still bouncing around. Okay. This thing, I think, breaks DPS cap. Ignores boss DPS cap. This is kind of interesting, actually, because I think if you are firing at something with something that ignores DPS cap, any damage that gets applied while the DPS cap is being ignored also works. So I think the Mega Ball plus this weapon is a pretty interesting combo. Yeah, also, I didn't really think about the fact that it bounces forever, which is probably one of the big sort of selling points of this thing. Um, again, not... We haven't really got a room clearer yet. I mean, this is definitely a decent room clearer, but ignoring boss DPS cap makes me want to obviously say a bit more for the bosses than anything else. But it's got pretty good ammo. I don't I can't remember how fast of a fire rate this thing has, I'll be honest. Okay, very fast. Uh, we don't want to be using this too much. But this has the plus two damage per projectile, which is pretty nice. I think we can use it a little bit here and there. All good in the hood with these guys. My little defensive things are helping out a ton. Okay, so my idea here is basically we charge this up, get it ready to go. It's ready. We go into the boss room, we fire it, and then we start lacing him with this. And then basically, my theory is that whenever the ball hits him while he's been hit by my shots, it'll be a DPS cap, and that is exactly how that works. Nice. Okay, so this, this, this cannon just got a whole lot better. Also, Crescendo Blast is actually a, a half-decent uh, boss killer, so... Oh, God. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Down we go. Down we go. Yeah, I think we've got, got a pretty decent setup going on now. And the Crescendo Blaster is a decent room clearer. Got adequate ammo. Decent damage. Gotta remember we're gonna be on half a heart again now. I really need to be looking out for and buying armor whenever it's available to me. Um, because th this run 
It's fragile. We've got a pretty interesting setup going on. But we have a particular item that could basically just cause it all to tumble down very, very quickly with one simple mistake. Now, the fact that we have the power that we have means that that hopefully shouldn't happen at least early. But I could so easily walk into the next room and take one wrong step. I mean, one good thing is we have this shield that... Basically, I don't like the shield really, but I can at least panic press it if things start looking a little too hairy. If uh, if an enemy comes comes close and it's uh, making a bit too much wa um, waves and I'm not able to kill it in time sort of thing, I can just be like, at least I have the shield. And yeah, at least on the crescendo shots, we're getting the plus two damage. Um, on the smaller shots that do less damage, or at least I believe they do less damage. I'm not in actually entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure they do. I don't think it's just a visual. Another one of you. All good. Almost stepped on those mushrooms there. Let's stay out of the way of that. Nice extra key there as well. Oh, God, that bullet kind of scared me. This is a scary room in itself. Okay, my, my little drone thing there, my little blocker thing, just absolutely saved my life. It blo I didn't know it could block lasers, um, and it, it blocked that laser and saved me. Okay, good. We'll take this ammo now. We'll leave the full ammo for later. Yeah. Really do not like the idea of this, but we made it across. All good. Okay, got that teleporter unlocked too. Very nice. Macho Brace, not great. I, I almost said then, oh, it's going to be really good with our uh, massive cannon, but it's actually useless with our massive cannon because uh, we can't charge and then roll and then fire. Our shop here. We got the um, Widowmaker, which is interesting considering we have exactly enough to buy it, so... Certainly tempted by that. Let's do this first, though. Without taking damage, I mean, that is currently the aim anyways, so... I'll take that bet. Good. Oh, Lord. Corrupted junk. Okay. What does that do again? I do not remember. Just some corrupted junk. Carrying this around makes you question your sanity. May grant the player a large amount of consumables. So, what from what I'm understanding, I've been kind of scammed. Oh wait, it gave me a thousand casings. So maybe not. Um, I didn't realize it gave me a thousand casings. That's pretty cool. Okay, this thing has a lot less ammo than I was expecting it to have. Just a shotgun. Dude, what the fuck? I'm not sure I get this weapon. It seems trash. <laughs> let's let's read up on it. Bullets to hit enemies will get recycled back into your clip aim true. Okay, that's that's interesting. Basically it's like the hyper light blaster but in shotgun form. So, if you're accurate, it can have infinite ammo, but I doubt that's going to happen for me. Honestly, I don't think it's that good. As a shotgun, you're going to be missing a lot of your shots unless you're willing to get really close and personal. I don't think it's going to be a weapon we use all that much. Interesting idea, but yeah, probably need a spread decrease to make it really pop. But yeah. I think we kind of got scammed a little bit with Corrupted Junk because I think it's meant to give you a bunch of other stuff when you pick it up, not just casings. And because it was added directly into our inventory rather than us picking it up, we never got those benefits. Yeah. 
What are you doing, Mushroom? You out, you're good. Ow. I have been hit. Why am I the way that I am? Not a fan of the situation I put myself in here. There's still enemies in this room? Why? Also, the frog bubbles scare the hell out of me. You both pop before I move. All three of you pop before I move. Good. Another raccoon there. Honestly, I'm, I'm all for the raccoons right now. It's still no junk and I've got so much junk. I've even got a corrupted junk. But it means nothing. Cruel game. I call it if there was like a junk and synergy form with corrupted junk, but I don't think there is. Heck blaster? Ooh. Heck blaster with plus two damage per bullet. Is that insane? Not as insane as I would have hoped. Not as insane as I would have hoped. But it's pretty good. I was expecting it to be ludicrously good. Like, I was expecting it to be, like, insta-killing stuff. Sadly, that is not the case. Right, so again, we, we take the same strategy as last time. This time, we have a lot more to, to, to lose. In terms of our entire run. My little shield things are helping out a ton. We've got plenty of blanks to play with, so make sure we use them. But so we even got armor there, which I'm very happy about. Don't know what this is. Ooh, this is tri-beam sort of thing. It's called the tri-beam. There you go. Um, okay. Down if we go, I think. Um, maybe ought to just take the ammo back for this thing. Before we leave. I'll try out the tri-beam. I'll give it a go. I think I want to be using my uh, anti-matter rifle or whatever the hell that thing's called. The one that I just used for the boss. Just in rooms as well, to be honest. Because we've got a lot of ammo on that last floor. I know I can't exactly count on that happening every time, but it's such a good weapon. And we only need about 100 ammo to kill a boss by the looks of things. So as long as we keep around 100 left, we should be good. Uh, I'm gonna use the Tri-Beam and Heck Blaster for a little bit though. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding exactly how the uh, the idea with this Heck Blaster thing works with the uh, flat bullets or whatever it's called. But, or maybe it's just that two damage is a lot less than I'm thinking it is. Maybe guns, like a, a regular Heck Blaster bullet does like 12 damage or something, and so plus 2 doesn't really mean much. I would have thought a Heck Blaster shot does like 1 damage, and therefore adding plus 2 triples its damage sort of thing, but like I said, I might be wrong. This is a very, very horrible room for us right now. Luckily, it's not a particularly tough one. Most annoying is these bloody buggers. Stop summoning. The tri-beam, kind of meh in terms of damage, but I imagine earlier on in the run, this would have actually been pretty darn good for us. 
I'm not dissing the tri beam. I mean, it, I think it is only C tier. Um, but yeah, I honestly think that just using this thing right now is the way to go. Like, it's it's a little bit wasteful in terms of the ammo, but it's just going to kill stuff so much quicker than we can with anything else. And there you go, we get ammo for it there. Once we get down to half ammo, we can come back for that. A bit more frivolous with our ammo expenditure now. So what's half half of 720? What the hell's half of 720? 360? Yeah, 360. Okay, so we've got a good amount of ammo to do the rest of the floor before we refill. Honestly, these shields are a lot, lot better than I initially gave them credit for. They are saving my booty in major ways. Constantly. Okay, you do your thing. Good extra blank there as well. Nice. Gun muncher. Honestly, yeah. I'm going to gun munch the magic lamp because I just don't think we could get any use out of that uh, with this shotgun. Because I, did, again, don't think we're going to get any use out of that. And we'll see what we get. Might not be anything great, but we'll try it out. We got the snaker. Oh, the snake is like... We shoot the, the pellets and it gets bigger. Interesting idea. I like the item, but I'm probably not going to be using it all too much, I have to say. Go on behind me, you little sh cheap little shit. All good on this front. Good, all good, all good. Right. 360 was our ammo that we're looking for, so I think we ought to take that around about now, to be honest. There you go. Good grab, good grab. And then we've got 800 casings to go here, so whatever the shop offers us. I'm hoping there's an NPC uh, shop as well. <laughs> this room's so funny. The fact that it just kills everything as it's on their way to us. The ghost itself, though, I have to say, is not a prospect I like the idea of. Is that everything? No. But we got there in the end. Took a bit of doom, but we got there in the end. Where is our shop? Extra HP, not that I'll need it for long, but thank you. Again, though, not really been noticing. I have to say... I know it's a C tier thing, but for how devastating of a downside this insta kill thing is, doesn't seem to do its job very often. It might be like a 10% chance or something. It feels very low. It does not feel worth the risk at all in a regular. Like if if I, I'm only not dropping it because I started with it and I want a, a bit of a challenge going forward, but regularly I would definitely definitely drop this. That is significantly better than our other active. Thank you. That helps us a lot. Gotcha. Come on, shop. Where the hell are you? Another raccoon. What the hell's going on? Still no junkin. This is offensive. I have so much junk. I have, <laughs> I have so much junk, this is just crazy. Oh lord, okay. Wasn't expecting a glitched room, but glitched junk can do that to you. Every now and again. Sadly, we didn't get anything for it in this glitched room, I don't think. Nah, nothing special in here. We got a bullet modifier chest. Still haven't found our goddamn shop yet. Apparently we went every single which way but the shop, which is really frustrating. Yeah, that guy insta died. But it's not happening nearly often enough to be worthwhile. 
Right, Shock, please be good to me. Really? That is some hot, hot garbage. Three just terrible weapons. Although, actually, the hot glue gun, it costs a lot, so I'm going to think it's good. Um, glue your floors in place as a chance to set them ablaze. Okay, I'll keep that in, keep that into, want to set up my synergy again here. Just you. Open up our bullet modifier chest. And we get, is that blank bullets? That is indeed blank bullets. Very, very nice. Right. Get ready for this. The good weapon for this. This isn't doing anywhere near as well as I thought it would against these guys. Actually, no, it's, it's, it's doing pretty good. Good, good, good. A two keys for next floor as well. Love that. Cargo battle's pretty good too. Okay, we can't we can't cargo battle this unfortunately. I think now we want to go with a hot glue gun and maybe the crescendo boy. Right, let's get down. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I've got a can of Tango Apple with me right now. I was discussing this with my girlfriend the other day. Tango Apple is like one of those drinks that I, I remember really fondly. I remember having it as a kid. I remember absolutely loving it, and I still love it. But I never have it. Like, even if I see it, I never sort of remember about it. And then, like, the other day, I saw, like, a six-pack of it at the shop, and I was like, oh, my God. It's been so long since I've had that. I'm going to have to get it. And I, I am so vindicated in my decision to do so, because it is goddamn awesome. Okay, this is not... This is not working out. Give me the Heck Blaster. I'm just thinking Heck Blaster is actually pretty darn good because of blank bullets right now. Damn you! I fucking rolled way too early then. This could all come crashing down so quickly. Oh, what the fuck is this? Remember, I've got my active things also a little too hairy. Like now, to be honest. Just use it. There's a lot going on in this room that I don't want to deal with. Heck, Blaster definitely seems stronger, but not as much stronger as I, I heard. Uh, I'll leave that for now. I'm going to come back if my Heck Blaster gets low. Another Corrupted Room here. Corrupted Rooms are confusing because it kind of muddles the room together a bit and kind of the enemies get a bit lost. I'll be honest, I don't really know who or what I'm shooting right now. There's a fucking Beholster down there. Calm down. Calm your passions. Got damn beholster in my room. No arms for you, boy. He skipped to arm day, clearly. This is working out pretty well. Heck Blaster is doing a good a fine job. The room seems like it's gonna have multiple uh, waves of enemies, but it actually didn't. Good. Gonna have to go get that ammo after this room. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Of the particle effects of those broken things in the floor, it looks really cool. 
Really cool indeed. The hell's this? The Golden Magnet. This is that just say more money as the tagline. More money. Holding this alone practically makes any money worth 30% more. Okay. Always forget about this bloody room. I will take this though, because it just makes sense to. We'll take that for you. Because like, I don't need the heart, clearly. I'll just have the stats. These little fellas going on. Be nice if we had some sort of um, amulet to do some blanking effects. Oh, bollocks. This room always gets me hit. Be careful. Just about realizing the room that you're in. It's not about actually how difficult the room is. It's just like. You kind of got to pay attention straight away. Oh, God. Another glitch room with a lot going on. Yeah, damn. Hammers. In fact, I'm going to pop my star here. Got a little bit of star power in this room as well. Nice. Oh, that was such a fucking bad hit. Such a bad hit. Oh my god. I'm stressing. I'm stressing. This is the, just the, the all Blobulum room, right? Yes, it is. Not as bad as it used to be, though. It used to be a lot more hectic than that. Ugh. Not great. Right, I guess I'll try and take on this mini-boss. Uh, to be fair, actually, with this thing, he should get absolutely annihilated. Not as annihilated as, as I was hoping, but... Pretty good. Pretty good. Hopefully we get a heart from him. Yeah, we got some armor, good. Got some armor, good, good, good. Explosive bullets is very, very nice. I'll take all of that. Imagine explosive plus bank bullets will make for a pretty good gun here. So many blanks. Two armor as well, which is lovely. And again, same tactic, I think, here. Remember as well, this thing bounces forever, like the entire fight. All we gotta do is get one of these off. Good. Wait, actually, I've just had an idea. Enable my invincibility. And pop another one of them off while I'm invincible. There you go, we've got two of them going off at the same time. One bow. Oh, these things destroy bullets too, okay. I have been underrating these things quite a bit. I didn't realize they destroyed bullets. Pretty amazing. I'm sure Nevernamed will have corrected me in the comments before this happened than I realized, but there you go. Either way, good stuff. Of course, though, we still got to do bullet hell.
I reckon we're reasonably prepared for Bullet Hell, though. I'm going to keep on with my Heck Blaster. I'm going to go with the Cold 45 as a secondary, because freezing is just damn useful against uh, tough enemies. Right. Let's go. A Robberos level 5, here we come. Hope we can make it work. We've still got, like, 600 in the bank as well, haven't we? I, I, still, I still wish there was, like, something on this floor, like a shop where you could trade in HP and money to get some interesting stuff, because there's just nothing to trade once you get to this floor. It's kind of like the womb in Isaac, where there's, like, no shop or item room. It just feels like you're on autopilot once you get to this floor because of that. Now, we won't be getting a ton of explosions with this thing because of the proc coefficiency of the weapon, but we'll see. Like, the more ammo in the cliff, the less often things proc. And obviously, this thing's high fire rate, very large cliff. But it will happen from time to time, and it'll be useful. Things will insta-die as well from time to time, too. Only 160 left ammo-wise. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Bit of a whiff on my behalf there, but we got ammo, which is awesome. Let's do that room, we know where we're going now. Okay, what? I got dukes. I got dukes. Also, what the fuck is this? I'm not a fan of this room. Is it not done yet? Why not? Okay, there you go. Damn it, I got duped. Should be fine here. I just hope we get some ammo drops throughout. But we've got a little bit of care, so we hopefully should. There's an ammo drop there, actually. Really do not like the idea of this. I'm just going to take this now. I don't want to backtrack over here. That was scary. We've only got 377 in the bank, actually. I thought we had more. Another very annoying room. Okay. We got by it. Good, 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 good. Who'd have thought the Heck Blaster would be so damn good? I mean, to be fair, we are in Heck, and we are blasting it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That explos explosive bullet just knocked that slime into me. So now we're in a really dangerous spot. Where death could be imminent. If I can get that health before I get hit here, that would be super nice. Okay. The game had mercy on me in this in this time. <laughs> it just decided to give me some freebies there. Pop that. Is the heck blaster actually gonna be better for this guy? Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? No, it's not. Okay, we'll use this thing then. I should be really be uh, trying to do that. Oh shit, he's spawning stuff. I've never had him alive this long before. Why can't I shoot right now? There we go. Damn it, I missed. Blank if you need to. There we go, we got him. Use a lot more of that ammo than I would have liked to, but we can get some more ammo somewhere. Health is now looking absolutely fine. We also got whatever the, whatever the hell this thing is. Overpill. Five uses. On each use compresses a whole clip's worth of bullets into a single shot in your current gun. The term overkill is not your dictionary. Overkill? What overkill? 
Using overpill will make your current gun undroppable. What? Compresses a whole clip's worth of bullets into a single shot in your current gun. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> I guess let's just use it on something that we're not using right now and find out. Oh, okay. So, in theory, it'd be really fucking good in this thing. I'm going to try it. Because it breaks the EPS cap already, so it could be nutty. Weird. Strange. I don't know if that was a good decision or not. We'll find out later, I guess. Find out later. But yeah, health is looking absolutely fine now, which is lovely. Things are getting confusing again. The visual clutter is heavy. Very, very heavy. Can you stop push pushing things into me with my own explosions, please, game? What well, rather annoying. Ammo for this bad boy again, thank you. My god, we are rinsing through stuff right now. It's quite nice. Don't have to worry too much about the enemies. Oh, hello. Is that not it? Okay. One more skeleton. He can't even hit me, though. Weird room design there. I like it, though. Kind of funky. Bullet hell do be kind of funky. What's next? Don't spawn on me, shot grub. Thank you. Is there another shot grub? No, there is not. Okay. I like using the heck blaster for all of heck. Feels good. I don't know who's buffing all of you guys, but don't like it. Honestly, I have no idea where the guy buffing you all is. Like, all the way down here or something? Yes, he is. Cheeky bugger. Okay, good. Take out the enemies that matter first. Get to everything else after. Don't have to worry about not getting hit anymore either, so that's that's a pretty huge relief. We've got to be nearly there now. Line bullets is so good as well. Give me some more ammo after this room, just to top my heck blaster off the last few rooms. Extra armor, lovely. Wow. I think this is the boss. That it is, that it is. Okay, we'll see how this works. Get this bad boy ready. Please do a fuck ton of damage. Uh, it's, it's not... Actually, no, no, no. It is working, it is working. It is most certainly doing a fuckload of damage. I don't want to use it for this last bit of HP, though. Good, good, good. Right, now we need to get our cannon back out and then use our star to fire it once we get down to the next area. Which is a pretty cool combo. I like that. So we... Pop our star and start charging. Go. Yeah, okay, that gun works pretty well. Unfortunately, we no longer have any ammo left with that thing. 
But yeah, it essentially, basically, seemingly what it does is that pill. It works the same way that that item that Nevernim made does, but like it's a, a choose thing. You choose to use it. Damn it! I keep forgetting that. Um, one minute, can we hot glue this guy? We can't, it doesn't really do much for us though. Yeah, getting hit, unfortunately, blanks, uh, stops us from charging our weapon. Let's just use this gun and mess him up. Stop in a dick! This is working perfectly fine. Okay, there you go. We can get another one of these ones in now. Good, good. You are goodbye, Ski. Right, there's another Ouroboros level done. Very, very happy with that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Let's see what we get as an unlock, if there is one. There isn't one. Okay. Either way, good stuff all around. I thoroughly hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a very fun one and a very interesting one indeed. And another win, which is good. We're kind of on a little bit of a streak at the minute. I like that. I like getting some good beast kills going on. Beast? This isn't Isaac, you know what I mean. Is it, I, I killed the beast twice today in Isaac, in, earlier in the day when I recorded. We're getting confused. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.